bow till I fall. Running from his bitch, he gon' come when I call. If it ain't about money, then you know I ain't involved. Worry about these motherfucking haters, not at all. Nine times out of ten, I'm the realest bitch you know. I'm marking the natural to the okay. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sass, and I'm back with another one, Straight Facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for your girl. So, we are back with today's second <laughs> episode of The Talks with Sass. So... As y'all know, I need to stop. I done went to Forever 21. <clears throat> I just got me like two bodysuits and I got me like a little cute little sweater or whatever just in case I don't. Just in case like I I have an outfit planned for um Christmas, but not New Year's. So, you know, I'm doing a little, little shopping, little shopping so I can get it out the way. And then also, I need to go shopping for my birthday. Even though my birthday is in March, it's March 2nd if y'all didn't know. But, um, yeah, I just I need to go shopping for that. Because I, I really want to take some, you know, it's my Jordan. Yeah, it's going to be, I'm making 23. Your girl is going to be 23 years young on March 2nd. And I want to really take some cute pictures. So, um, yeah, that's what I have planned. I need to go shopping for that. But um, I am back with today's um, episode of The Talk Success. Um, well, it's not my first time talking to y'all. It's my first time saying, well, it's my second time saying the talks was said. So today is the second episode. So y'all know I got five guys, y'all. I love five, five guys. You know what? They're high as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna even hold y'all. It is high as fuck. But it is well worth it. Like, it, and when I tell y'all well worth it, like well worth it because... <clears throat> They give you like they bless your burger. They actually, if you want two meat, then I they, you get whatever you want on your burger. I got ketchup. I don't really get much on my burger. I really should have said light on the damn onions, cause they should be having your breast stink and all of that. But I got onions and they grill your onions for you on a little um stove thing. Then I didn't get cheese this time. I got light mayonnaise, light lettuce, and um ketchup. Oh yeah, and bacon, cause I love bacon, y'all. I don't know, just something about bacon on a burger. It tastes so good. Like, it tastes, it'd, be so, it'd be so good. Let's talk about a little chit check about self love and self confidence. So, I got. So, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to just give y'all some pointers on an adult version. And then, like, I'm going to give y'all, like, the uh, preteen, like, teenager getting into about self love and self confidence right now um i don't think that nobody can teach you self-confidence and self-love i think it comes from within only because you growing up from you know say from seven eight nine year old to oh you know i'm getting breasts um your your uh your menstrual cycle start to come or whatever when you like i would say between nowadays these children getting them early but um i would say 11 12 13 maybe late 14 i mean 14 early 14 uh in between 13 14 like something like that that's when they bought this you know they starting to come because i got mine when I, I started mine when i was 12 i was in sixth grade so i was i was like 12 yeah um yeah so yeah from like growing up from like eight nine ten year old to preteen 11, 12, 13, 14, and then like teenager, 16, 17, 18, to developing as a grown woman, uh, a young adult, what, 19, 20, 21, 22, around that age, you still, you really have to take care of yourself and you really have to love your body. You know, your body go through all kinds of changes, all kinds of like different things. You know, you, you, you gonna have bad acne one day, um, you're gonna feel pretty one day, you're gonna feel ugly another day, and it's not necessarily it's not necessarily oh, that you ugly, it's that you feel ugly, you feel like bloated, you feel like no one is looking at you, you feel like like I, I, I don't know. I mean, me personally, I don't think I went through that stage 
I just, you know, went through the whole stage of, you know, your body changing and stuff like that. But I had, luckily, I had mentors and, like, people to, you know, help me, guide me through those little tough times and stuff like that. Yes. As y'all can see, if y'all can't see, I still do got bad acne. And I'm slowly, oh, my God. It's, like, slowly clearing up. Um, I, I'm going to show y'all what, what I've what i been using, all kinds of stuff, y'all. Like, I really, I don't know what it is. And I know what it is. I ain't going to lie. And I know what it is. It is, it's not the fact that I got bad acne. It's the fact that when bumps come in my face, I don't like them. If it hurt, I don't like bumps in my face. And I start to pick at it. And it say, you know, when you're picking at your bumps with nails, with your nails, your nails hold a lot of uh, bacteria and it's dirty and stuff like that. And those stuff, those blackheads and his black spots, that's what the, those are from. From me picking at the bumps and me not like, cause of, ooh, I ain't gonna lie, on my cycle, um, I get fever, it's like it come all around like the top area of my lip and that shit hurts. I ain't gonna be, ooh, ooh, it be hurting, but yeah, back to what I was saying. I be, I be getting all off, all soppy. But yeah, I think self-confidence and self-love comes from within. Building, I mean, you having self-confidence, it's like, you know, you building, you building that confidence within yourself. You knowing that, oh, you know, you're not, not being too arrogant and like stuck up or whatever, but you know, knowing that I look good, okay? Knowing that like, you know, when I come out here, when I walk out here, I smell good, it's good hygiene, I smell good, I look to part hair done, you know, I you know, look you know, look nice. And I, all of that comes from within. So I have two nieces. Yeah, I have two nieces. The other ones are like under like ten, but um ten and under. But yeah, two nieces um one is 12 and the other one is 14 and the 12 year old if she watches this video she know who she is that's my baby but you know she be tripping she be tripping and i don't know if she not girly girl she not she not girly girl no neither one of them is girly girl but the 14 year old is starting to develop well, she already had, hmm, she already was developing, but she texts me today. Now, usually, like, she, we text or whatever about different things. Now, I know it's that stage where you're going to start liking boys and thinking boys are cute. With a 14-year-old, she's in high school. I think she's in Things in the ninth or tenth grade. Hmm. These children grow so fast. I'll be I'll be forgetting. They she in the ninth grade. Oh, see them onions. I got a fruit punch too. I love me some fruit punch. But she texted me today and she said, Have you ever crushed on someone in high school, college, or whatever? I say, yeah, of course. Of course, like that age, you're going to start crushing on people. You don't think, you know, young dude, you know, the young little boy, they cute or whatever. And she told me, she said, um, oh, she said, I said, yeah, she said, have they ever accepted you or approached you or whatever the case may be? I said, yeah, of course. And then she said, well, lucky for you, that's good for you. A boy will never approach me. I don't think I'm cute and stuff like that. So that's what made me talk about this. And literally, just now, I, I, I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm um, put the message in. I'm gonna put the message in. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell y'all what I told her. But um, I first I told her, um, you know, you're too young to be worried about being accepted by a boy. Boys gonna be boys. Boys gonna always be there. And second of all, it's all about, you know, they, you know, she's a little tomboy and I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. You know, it, it, instead of like, like, for example, like instead of having like the little bras that don't have white and get your little push-up bra instead of like, um, they have feminine spray, they have, you know, perfume, um, like when she's on her cycle, she had texted me a while back and asked me, you know, 
you know how to you know how to control that when you at school and stuff like that so you i don't know if my mom talk my sister talked to her about this but you know make sure you have like two two extra you know psych mm, two extra pairs with you uh you know st stuff like that stuff like that is really important because it's like people will talk about you people will talk about you but it's that self-love and that self-worth and that self-confidence that you know man you know i ain't worried about you i know i look good or i know i smell good uh you ain't gotta worry about me you know smelling bad and this and this and this now the other one the one is 12 my baby kanaya hmm um she is you know i was she's girly girl but not girly girl and she's real mean mean that's my baby she is mean like mm, mm, mm. and i don't think she's to the stage of you know liking boys or whatever because she's still in junior high middle school whatever case may be she's in the seventh grade um so yeah i don't really think that she in that stage yet but i, I text her i'm gonna show y'all what i text her i text her you know i told her you know your body gonna start changing things gonna start happening but you know even if you can't talk to your mom or my sister you know i'm always here for you let me know if you need anything and stuff like that um yeah so i just wanted to you know spread some light on knowing your work knowing your you know having that self-love and that self-confidence in yourself because i'm telling y'all no one will love you like yourself no one will build that confidence and know your confidence level you know like you you know and all of that so i just wanted to share some light with y'all um on other on another episode of the talk so it says y'all they got this um motorcycle and it's just disturbing the hell out of me but um I'm about to finish this. I gotta go pick up my sister video. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Life of Sassy. Come join the plush gang, gang, gang. To the new supporters that have joined us, thank you for supporting me. I love you. Stay tuned for all the content that I have. Don't go nowhere. Make sure you tell a friend. Make sure you tell your daddy, your mama, everybody, your cousins, everybody. So come join my channel. You know, see what the left. I mean, see what the see see what the see what the girl about. See what the girl about. But I love y'all, and we out. What? Uh, 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 I got.